Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to export a shapefile out to KMZ in ArcGIS Pro. So here's the workflow. We're going to first need to add a name field into the attribute table, and that's going to end up uh, being the name of each point that gets put into the KMZ. Then we're going to turn off unwanted fields in the attribute table, and then we're going to export it with the layer to KML tool. So we've got a project going. Uh, our shapefile example is going to be a points shapefile, a bunch of ground truth points uh, meant to check on a classified image. So the first thing we're going to do is open the attribute table here. And notice we have this field, ground truth. That is the numeric class. And then this is just the latitude and longitude. So we're going to need to add a field click on add there, make sure you're not editing, and type in name. It has to be spelled exactly just like that name, nothing else. And it's going to be a text field. Then we'll close this, we'll save those changes so that new field is added. And then we need to go ahead and populate that field with basically whatever we want those points to be labeled as. So to do this we need to start editing, so highlight the shape file over here, Go to edit and the edit button. And uh, I, if you have a lot of features, you definitely need to do this with field calculator. Because we don't have many, we're going to do it by brute force here. Uh, and again, it was important that I so first sorted by ground truth. And now I'm just going to type in zero is water. And then I'm going to click once on the cell and just use control C to copy it down arrow, control V, down arrow, control V, down, and so on. And I'm just going to keep down arrowing and control V until I get to my next class, which is going to be called rock, and then do the same thing. So I'm going to fill out the rest of this table, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I finished filling out uh, all the features in the name, the name field for all the features. I'm now going to stop editing and, of course, save my edits. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, kind of get rid of some of these fields, not by permanently deleting them, but by just turning the fields on and off. So for that, we're going to make sure we're highlighting the, uh, the shape file here, and we're going to go to Data Fields. And then that shows us uh, this screen, and we're going to uncheck the fields that we don't want visible. And we're only going to leave visible ground truth, which has the numeric values, and then name, which has the text values that we just filled out. Close this and make sure to save the changes. So now if you open the attribute table the regular way, we see that only those two fields are displayed. So now we're ready to actually export this to a KMZ. For that, we'll go to analysis, go to our our geoprocessing tools and search KML and we'll choose layer to KML. Of course our layer will be this GTP shapefile we've been working on and then we're going to go give this an output name that will end up having a .kmz extension. How about we do gtps.kmz and we'll overwrite it. Uh, we can leave most things at the default one important thing is to uh, the extent you can change to be the extent of the shapefile. That way when it opens up in Google Earth, it'll zoom right to that extent. So we'll hit run. And this shouldn't take too long. It's not going to add it to the map once it's done. But what we can do is go look for it in a file folder. And here it is, our GTPs file. It's a KMZ. We'll double click it to open it in Google Earth. It's going to zoom to the place. And there's all of our points. If you open up the list over here with these triangles, we can see all of our points nicely labeled. Uh, and if you want to actually label them on the screen, you just right click properties, uh, style color, Let's make the text white and give it 100% opacity and scale it up to maybe 0.3. Uh, stay tuned and we may show you how to upload these into your GPS.
Thanks.